Hey, how's it going? I have a little information for you on small flat screen TVs. Um, just an initial primer uh, if you're looking to get one because that was the case for me as well. So um, the goal here is to give you just a little bit of information on uh, what you're looking for with a small flat screen TV. And uh, so I'm just going to give you the important variables uh, and features uh, and the best places uh, to look in order to find um, a, uh, one that will be suitable for you. So, um, For the most part when people talk about a small flat screen TV they're talking about a TV that's 24 uh, inches or less and um, which is pretty far cry from years ago when <laughs> that was a, considered a, you know, a decent sized TV but uh, while 24 inches is usually the upper cap um, a small flat screen TV in the smallest size generally is about 14 inches <clears throat> and harder to get models can come down to about the seven inch rain um, for special applications. Um, now when you want to consider uh, the technology behind your picture uh, you're looking at pretty much DLP, LCD or uh, plasma and if you don't know what those terms are um, I'm, I'm going to go into them more later but we'll do a little bit here I'll cover the bare bones of it and of course um, everything that you read or hear about the different technologies with flat screen TVs and such is subject to change very quickly depending on the, the way um, you know research and all those things go along. So the major sources uh, or choices, sorry, um, you all, that ultimately end up being des the deciding factors for you uh, will be size and shape, uh, sound and picture quality, uh, high definition or a digital satellite TV, conventional tube, widescreen tube, LCD screen, plasma screen, or uh, rear projection. So a DLP is, cons is a consideration if you're looking for a great picture but are on a little bit of a lower budget. DLP stands for digital light processing and is a rear or front projection TV. However, this is mostly a factor for those wanting uh, larger screens and not a small screen TV, so not really kind of what we're into here, but I just thought I'd mention it. Plasma uh, TVs are a little bit more of the rage and cost a bit more too. So um, they have a lot of fans like in the forums and such and um, they arguably tend to have the best picture if you don't mind spending the money. So, uh, But of course all this is up to debate. LCDs are a great common ground for those that don't want a large theater type room um, or want the TV to be the prominent feature in the room. Um, so since we're talking about small uh, flat screen TVs, this is probably more your case. LCDs have a nice bright uh, picture, but not as sharp as the plasma. And picture quality can change with the angle and the speed of motion in the program. So that affects your picture quality. So for a small room, the, the general consensus is that L LCD is uh, the correct choice for you. But you know, if you're an action fan and such, that might not be the case as well action or anything else with a fast changing screen um, or if for some reason you have people that will be sitting at the side. So to add to the above factors, the, the quality of the connections that you use as well to, to hook up your uh, small flat screen will have a huge impact on the ultimate picture quality you view as well. Um, I'll go later into things like frequency rate, contrast ratio, screen resolution and all those sorts of things but that's enough for now. Uh, I hope that gave you a little bit of um, just a little bit of a heads up, so.